even in the snow. Central New Yorkers still know how to get around. I drove in from Hannibal to pick up Marie, and I drove in late afternoon. It was typical. It wasn't bad. It, it had been worse earlier. Hi, folks. Can I help you? More than a thousand people packed in to see Menopause the Musical downtown. Hey, 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 hey. Just ask anyone waiting to see the one-day showing, and they'll tell you missing this show because of the slippery roads was never an option. It's the change. It's just so funny. It strikes. It strikes the people like me. <laughs> It'll make you laugh so hard that you cry. I don't mind driving, so to me it wasn't an issue. I just, you know, I live in up in Onondaga Hill, which is a different country altogether. So I gave myself more time to get my to my sister's house in Fairmount to pick her up. We got a cab and we came downtown and didn't even dare to try to come down with the vehicles. Tickets to Menopause the Musical cost as much as $47. Some people here say they're going to see this show regardless of the weather because of the money they spent on these tickets. It's almost like going the Turning Stones. And then you put it on the table and hope for the best. There's no guarantees, but it's well worth taking a cab to come down.